We welcome you to the NCAA Women's Championship presented by Capital One. The final four is here, and these are our semifinalists. It begins tonight with NC State and undefeated South Carolina, then Iowa and UConn, and the winners play in the national championship Sunday afternoon on ABC. NC State a 20 and 12 advantage all time. And how about Sanaya Rivers <laughs> jumping against Camilla Cardoso? Her fingertips were right there too. And we see NC State starting out in a man-to-man -man defense. South Carolina will look to go into Cardoso as much as possible. Pow Pow floats it in. A good sign for South Carolina. Especially if you've had some struggles with your three-point shot. Well, she comes up with a steal here as well. It's good to get a look at the rim. Pow Pow to the corner. Johnson cutting. It was something that NC State had wondered would Texas do against them in the Elite Eight. They did not. Here is James. She got it. Piping hot. Incredible with her efficiency here. Draws two, but then, oh, what a dribble back to the right side. And the rebound flag down by Hayes. Nearly threw it away. Here is James being ridden by Pow Pow. Step back three again. Isaiah James is feeling it. Always good for South Carolina when Camilla Cardoso looks confident, demands the basketball, and then when she gets it, tries to score. Wow, Rivers the breakdown in the lay. Goal, stepping into the three, Sanaya Rivers, an elite athlete in her own right, Don Staley. And NC State comes away with it. Here's Rivers being hawked by Full Wiley, and Rivers. Gets denied, Watkins there, and Fagan as well. I think Sanaya Rivers is really amped up to play against her former team. Bull Wiley connects on a three. Bull Wiley really up pressuring Zoe Brooks. Her jumper is good. Hits the rebound. Yeah, that just was not a smooth offensive possession for NC State. Cardoso, great position in the finish. The ball has yet to miss this half. She runs the floor, posts up, demands the basketball. This young woman is 6'7". Now one of six from the floor. Ball working behind Cardoso, feeds her again, and more easy cash for Camilla Cardoso. And how about that time? The ball, this young woman is 6'7". Good luck stopping her when she gets positioned like that. And here's like the persistence of River Baldwin because she's gotten blocked a couple of times inside, but she needs to continue to be attacking. Nice delivery, Johnson. This is the best first half I've seen Camilla Cardoso play this season. She looks determined. Brooks. Again, able to flip it in. How about the poise the freshman has shown in the mid-range thus far? Five charges in the first half, then got injured, or else she would have had more. Rivers, nice look, and Baldwin the easy finish. That was quite a screen by River Baldwin, though. And now Raven Johnson off the long rebound. Cardoso open underneath. 16 points in this first half. James looking to shake Johnson. James lost the handle, needs help, goes back door. Brooks denied by Watkins. Johnson, the freshman, directing traffic with Cardoso. Here's Johnson, she got it. We have seen Tessa Johnson. Particular South Carolina, the way they were blitzing on ball screens. Cardoso, patient. Doesn't get a whistle, doesn't get the finish. Baldwin secures the rebound. And Cardoso limping a little bit after that. Here's Rivers down the other end. Again, just out of control and unable to finish. Cardoso is still limping here. Pow Pow's three is short and... One of her teammates needs yeah, to Yeah, somebody needs foul. to take a foul so Camila Cardoso can have that ankle addressed. As Cardoso now is the one to apply the foul, her first... And you could see Winston Gandy, one of the assistants for South Carolina on the bench, trying to get the attention of his team to take a foul so they could address Cardoso's ankle. Let's take a look here, Rebecca. Oh, look, maybe the left ankle dragging on the foot of Baldwin. Oh, 
or the right yeah, ankle. It's sure. not as obvious, right? And she also looked like she landed on her right knee. But yes, this is where a more experienced team, as soon as you see one of your teammates hobbling, you take the foul so she can get out of the game. Well, Brooks able to pedal it away from traffic. Brooks finds Collins, her three is good. Tied at 30. In this second half, Ashlyn Watkins, rather than Chloe Kitts, gets the start out of halftime as Raven Johnson very calmly. Gonna watch her closely and how she's moving up and down the floor. How pow rattles in a three and a strong start to the third for South Carolina. Oh. Tahina Pow Pow this season shot the third best. All of her teammates knew how important this game was to her. She is the vocal leader of her team as Johnson rings in a three. Blitz right through the screen to get the good look inside. Pow Pow around the Watkins screen. Feeds her on the roll. Easy money. Pow Pow and Watkins. Ashlyn Watkins screen, roll, deliver. That's just averages more than 28 minutes per game for the undefeated Gamecocks. For Wiley Short, Cardoso cleans it up. Hayes, too long on a three. And Watkins, yet another rebound, her 12th. Johnson lobbing it up. Cardoso able to finish. Timeout, NC State. Four in this third, two turnovers for the game. They have just three assists to their nine turnovers. Johnson on a three. Another set that South Carolina worked on against the zone. The third attempt from Isaiah James and her teammates really weren't even down the floor yet as Tessa Johnson can't finish and it's out of bounds off of Brooke. That's smart. Raven Johnson pulls it out, gets them to run a set. For Wiley in the corner. No. Cardoso. Yes. And that's the hard part for NC State in the zone. Here's Pow Pow, a deep three is good. They have outscored NC State by 20 in the frame. Nice look there from James, and what a rejection from Swatkins. Five seconds left in this third. Hall's three. You bet. What you got cooking. Steps out, faces up, three more. As South Carolina goes zone here against NC State. And what's intriguing about this is coming into this game as Sanaya Rivers able to drain from deep against the zone. South Carolina. Her 19th of the night. Watkins elevates and hits. What can't she do? Maddie Cox getting some minutes. Now for NC State, as Johnson nails the three. Just turned. What? That was a beautiful pass by Ashlyn Watkins. And when you seen her hit such big threes throughout this season, throughout this tournament, last year was flagrantly sagged off of in the perimeter, and now an easy lay as well. That is the medical term. Well, I was going to say, you both are using fussing now to describe what's <laughs> happening with that hamstring. It must be a couple of decades of working together. 20 for South Carolina, coming on two minutes remaining in this fourth. Isaiah James nails the three. James, a junior. Here's for Wiley turning the corner and cupping it in beautifully. That three won't go. Offensive rebound, Brooks. He puts it in. For Wiley has it. And that will do it. Undefeated South Carolina will play for the national championship on Sunday.